will host the number nine Duke Blue Devils. Duke on the verge of winning 20 games, just a half game behind North Carolina in the race to win the ACC. Virginia just won a big one today. Very early, a low scoring game. They won it 49 47 over Wake Forest. And the Blue Devils now trying to stay ahead of Virginia. They got to the second with their loss. For Virginia earlier this week, trying to stay in that second place, one win behind Carolina. Trying to feed downstairs to Baba Miller. Nice with another freshman, McCain. Pass will be tipped and collected by FSU and Jameer Watkins. Watch him today. If he has a big day, FSU is going to be in it all the way, and he will lay that one in. Quick start for the Knowles out in front for Zip. Up top, Mitchell. Filipowski with a touch. McCain will launch and swish it in. Welcome to the tuck here in Tallahassee, Florida. It's the Seminoles off to a quick start. Tyrese Proctor averaging 10 points a game. The 6'5 sophomore guard for the Duke Blue Devils did not make the trip because of a concussion suffered on Monday in the game against Wake Forest. They're going to raise up, knock down the jumper, foot on the line, so he'll only get two for that one. But more important for Mitchell's confidence that he made. Javier Watkins, 26 points, terrific against Virginia Tech in a loss this week. He's got it in the corner, and that'll rattle home. How come here to them? That was 79-78. Duke all-time has a big lead in the series as Mitchell will draw the foul. They lead 43-11 to at 1-11. It's entitled in the ACC with both of those teams coming into Saturday with three leads. Some trouble here in Tallahassee, Corey. Two out of the last three games, Florida State has won. Here down these guards, so I expect to see Jalen Blakes, who had 17 against Florida State the last time they played. I expect to see him getting in off the bench. So it's the benefit. Here comes McCain. Little shove off there, but he drops it down. He is a tough guard. That's a guy that you may want to leave out there for 40 minutes, however. When you could take away the first few games of the season, over the last 18 games, he's probably been their most consistent guy. Green Jr. And it rattles all. We're watching him shoot. God. That has traditionally been able to knock it down from deep. Yeah, he had 21 against Georgia, 24 against North Florida. He gets rolling. It can be lights out. Rolling to the basket. Up and in for two. Can Gore in the sixth tenth. Double A record. Which is a joke, right? I mean, how does that happen? How does any coach, any program, win 14 straight overtime games in Division I college basketball? Roach will launch and knock down a three. Does not want to be called a seven-footer, so he goes by. Call me 612. Green Jr. give it off for Watkins. He's the top scorer at 15 a game, but they just keep making shots. That's seven out of eight. But two this game, six of seven from the field with no turnovers. And OB, this is a team that comes in with a negative assist to turnover rate in ACC play, a minus two on the season. They have eight points in the paint. Here comes Filipowski down the lane to draw the foul. And a big sophomore who does not mind being referred to. I think also one of the most underrated passers in the ACC. And six leads the ACC alongside North Chattel Mirror in Miami. 6'10", Jalen Ganey into the game now for Leonard Hamilton. Young up top for McCain straight away. Well, that's like a lamp for him. But that's just a defensive mistake. But in and out, he's a 6'10", freshman. Paul Bowen now 3 of 21 from beyond the arc on the season. Oh, and speaking of freshmen that can shoot it, this young man may be the best in the league. When Country, it's not been true this year. He lost steals. Yeah, Coach Ham talked to us about that earlier today. With each, either they don't play with the same size we're used to playing, same Florida State play with either. McCain again. Uh -oh. oh, yes. Uh oh. Another three off an 11 nothing run. And he's really the biggest reason for the resurgence of the Blue Devils. They struggled to start ACC play this year, but Jared McCain has been the guy that's grown up right in front of our eyes. Oh, Bowen with a pull up pop, got it to go. I'm sure his dad, Yogi's in stand, is the Blue Devils turn it off. Spears with the pick. He'll go up against the blue shirts and lay it in, and he takes a tumble into the photogs. That's a great finish by Premier State early. Didn't get eligible until December the 16th, but it's been a double digit score for them since his debut. Roach operate, finds the lane, just too quick. The rim protector. 
Most tops of the ACC and assist to turnover ratio rarely kicks it over. And this will be picked up by Blakes up ahead of the field. Goes up strong and draws the foul. He'll be at the line for a three point play. And he'll knock down the three point play. He says he's the one guy that he knows is going to compete every possession when you put him on the floor. Miller curling in. Boy, it's a tough shot off the window. Yeah, especially for a guy that's 6'12. You're talking about being able to move into mobility for someone that size. McCain in the lane and has it stripped, and FSU comes away with it. That is part of their defensive DNA. Lots of steals for the Knowles. Cora trying to get free, and it's batted away. 8.36 to go in the half. And Duke on top by five. Duke averaging about 81 points a game, leading the ACC in shooting percentage at 48%. Green Jr., too strong. Miller went over the top and commits the foul as he went for the rebound. So eight and a half to go. And coming up next on ESPN, our featured games roll on. Number six, Kansas, squaring off against number 25, Oklahoma. Then it's number 22, Kentucky, and number 13, Auburn, in a sonic blockbuster. We've got a timeout. Duke on top, 27-22 at FSU. The Knowles looking for an upset today. In this clinic, we pride ourselves on putting others first. It's on us to help care for our clients' well-being, to help them adapt. It's inspiring to work at a place where our patients succeed and we as therapists do too. With great benefits from principal, we feel appreciated for the work we do. Blake's back to Filipowski. He'll attack, lost it. Fast break opportunity. Spears getting it for Corin inside and will lay it in. Rocky, he's what, 75 now? And we're chatting with him today, and I can't believe it. I mean, he's in such great shape. And asked him, how do you do that? Because he still looks like a million bucks. Because Jackson knocks it too. And, and you know, back in the 70s on that. Uh, he's a man of great faith as well. Absolutely. That's, you know, Leonard Hamilton. So back to Myron's story is Jerry McCain. Oh, that's going to go. Knocks down his fifth three, which is a cool. Duke leading at 32 26. We talk about Coach Ham and his great faith, also the owner of a Christian record label. Oh, and Jerry McCain is on fire here. Duke 35, FSU 26. Spears to the lane with a fall away. Yes. Obi, you and I were here two seasons ago when we watched Hunter Couture hit nine threes on this floor. Jeremy McCain already with six. And believe me, this young man, he is looking for another one. He will not stop shooting. Well, here he'll take a two off the window and a pretty scoop shot. And since he won a Peace Jam championship with Russell Westbrook's team, why not? Out of Southern California. Jackson gets hit while taking the mid-range jumper. Chandler Jackson will go to the line for the blue through that really quickly. His career rate, that's going to be blocked. Gainey got a piece of it. Spears on the other end. Scoops in for two. A strong response from the Seminoles. Champ off the floor. You stay out there. This could be one where we could see Jared McCain play the entire game. When you're that hot. You definitely don't want to go to that. Yeah, that's for sure. One of the great performances for half we've seen all season long. And that's a really difficult shot by. And they haven't been quality looks for either team as of late. FSU just two and five in their last seven in the ACC. Is McCain on the spin? Nice dish. Filipowski will get it in. Great job by Bo Bowen crashing the glass. John Shire felt as though that ball should have been back to Duke as though they stepped on the baseline. Three ball on the move and draws the foul as he hits the deck. 
Six three junior is checking you on the <laughs> yeah. I am a firm believer if the notes line at 76 percent is second to three. Now Florida State doesn't want to give Duke much time on the offensive end for the last possession of this game. Spears trying to dish into the lane, picked off by Duke. Nice give here from McCain. McCain stepping back. Grills oh. another triple. Oh. Incredible first half oh. for Jared McCain. Oh, and he's having a conversation with somebody and just looks over and politely tells them to hush. And this is a hush shot right here. After you knock one down like this, you can look over and simply say, please be quiet. Let's go. Florida State down 10. And a long one coming is switched in by Darren Green Jr. He can do it too. He's capable of some big scoring performances. He absolutely is capable. And OB, I'm sure that that's not what John Shire wanted to see defensively from his team on the first possession because he knows Darren can Green can get back really quick. Filipowski with a quick answer on the other end at Duke in the mid 90s. On a cut and a big deflection. That's the second time we've seen Watkins go up top and deny an opportunity for the Blue Devils. Worley going in strong and a blocking foul. As Roach hits the deck as well. He's seven points a game. Aggressive to start the second half. Also at 19 and they want to see getting a wide open look for those supporting the Seminoles here in this building. Foster on the drive. Roach gets a look and sticks it. Great. That he suffered in their victory over Wake Forest on Monday at Cameron Indoor. So the Blue Devils playing short. Worley, slick move. The tip is up and in. Foster wants to get off a shot. High arching shot that goes down. Eleven. This is six eleven. Listed as six eleven. Mitchell. Mitchell driving on it. Swatted and a whistle and a foul. That was told. Misses the front end. Five at six o'clock coming up on ESPN. On Roach, by the way. Duke by nine. FSU with the ball. Let's see if Jameer Watkins gets rolling here in the second half. Over the top pass. It's going to be stuffed in by Cam Corrin. Over the top to the big fella. McCain, an electrifying first 20. Pulls up and didn't hit the shot, but he'll be at the line. John Shire thanking the long. I think as impressive as anything for the freshman. He hears that he's been back at Duke as an assistant coach. When we look at a Florida State roster, that's, you know, what we've seen from Leonard Hamilton and Sean Stewart does a great job defensively coming up with the steal. Roach up ahead, Filipowski to slam it. Gives Sean Stewart a lot of credit getting out 40 feet from the back. Filipowski doubled up, it spits free. Watkins will drive and lay it in and a foul too. Such a smart play by Watkins. Half turnovers a game coming into play today. So staying connected. McCain has it poked away. Once again, it's Worley. Full ball over the top and a slam by Corrin. And that's another two. Young upset the screen. Oh, you can see him lock eyes there with McCain to try to get in the ball. Mitchell, strong, following his own miss, sticks that one in. But great recognition, but then the second jump defends it off. Chandler Jackson in, the sophomore from Memphis. On the curl, Watkins drops it too. Got a little extracurriculars going on right now. Possession, both guys looking at the officials. Kane finding an opening. Now three shirts around him. Force it up there and reaches in and commits a foul. All right, score change here. Jerry McCain just went to the line for Duke and hit two technical foul shots. Here's what they call. Well, you see after the play, now Jared McCain, who is unable to get the shot to go here, fouls Darren Green. But after the play, the whistle's blown. Darren Green turns and sticks the basketball into Jared McCain's chest, which gets him a dead ball technical foul. 
two free throws with those which were made by Jerry McCain and now possession for the Blue Devils allowing them to possibly make this a double-digit game Filipowski with the touch going strong follows his miss that's blocked high out of the sky by Watkins long one hit by guess who McCain and the battle has been won by McCain so Duke's all-time record by a player is nine three-point makes. Shane Batty there, he's got one more with the dunk. J.J. Redick did allow him to cool down for a second. Worley, nice dish, and a whistle, and a foul against the Blue Devil. Bob Miller also at the tape call, went back over to Filipowski with something to say to this point. Roach off the dribble. Mitchell, nifty fake, slapped away. Roach picked up the loose ball and hits it. Just a veteran play by Jeremy Roach, sticking his nose in the middle of all the big bodies and being able to come up in the presence of mind and poise to see the shot clock and get an easy bucket. So it's back up to 10 for Duke. Long one coming and knocked down by Jackson. Caleb Foster looking to operate on a crossover, the jumper. Second chance. It came to McCain. He's drawn a lot of booze here, but he knows how to quiet them too. He, OB, this will probably be the only time he ever plays here. I'm not sure they'll have a chance to do that again. 33 points here today. Putting on a show. Uh, two points away from the Duke freshman record. Another alley of the 10 and the stuff. For the Seminoles, he's a guy that Florida State needs to try to get going on the offensive end as well. Shot clock down to seven. Roach sees it, fires, hits it. A three-pointer and a big one. Duke get back up by ten here. That's the lead they had at halftime. Watkins with a pull-up. Six it. Jeff Watkins, he's been in foul trouble today and has not been Oster at the point. Unfortunately for Florida State, Jared McCain did make the trip. 33 points and a sensational outing. Trying to add on to that right now, a little floater for two. And that 35 now ties Zion Williamson for the Duke record and point scored in a game, but with 3.05 remaining, he may not be done yet, OB. Back to a 10 point advantage. Miller takes a stumble, and it's going to be a blocking foul. Uh, Caleb Foster still has the guard ability because he was a guard until that Foster nice pass Mitchell with the dunk. I'm not sure why Bob Miller went out to trap Kane has Junior will give it up Jameer Watkins Got Filipowski on hand. Pass somehow did get to Worley. He'll lay it up and in. Mark, 71-63 Duke. Foster doing a really good job controlling the basketball here when the Blue Devils have the rock and we're under two. And he'll draw a foul. Roach. Worley guarding him. They've got 10 to shoot it. Roach on the drive, and it's going to be a palming violation. To get their defense set. Green Jr. way downtown. Filipowski one and done for the Seminoles. Mitchell, and they break the pressure. You take that layup if you're Caleb Foster. You bring it back out, and it ends up being what close to a turnover. Fortunate to be able to get it back, but had a wide open layup that he didn't take advantage of. Foul is 111 to the line, 87 percent shooter there. Leader for this team this year, and as hot as Jeremy McCain has been, Jeremy Rose has stepped up and made a number of big buckets here on the road. Watkins has to hustle. Miller, ugly shot. Mitchell with the rebound. And 
Another stoppage and another whistle with 57 points. The Duke Blue Devils along the way. Roach making the first. And Florida State has just not been able to cut into the lead really and maintain it since halftime. They cut it to five at one point, but not able to get any closer. That five point possession by Jared McCain after the technical foul would tr truly be a difference maker. That's Corrin at the line. Can't hit the front end of the one and one. And another loose ball picked up by FSU. Tried that one free for McCain and spun up and in for two. And going to be a timeout here by Leonard Hamill. Everything he put up was dropping. Good enough to become a villain here in Tallahassee. Oh, yes. He, he has absolutely become that. Set for the 6'9 sophomore. Duke leaving the door open, not taking care of business at the free throw line. Watkins trying to get a shot up. He'll slice inside, left it short. Now Roach will draw the foul in the ACC and right on the heels of North Carolina. And that'll rattle, rattle in. Early handing off for Green Jr. That'll be tipped a couple of times for a state. Relentless on the glass, but four chances, and it would not go. Finally, that one will drop by Corin. But 11 seconds to go. They don't want to foul that guy. The game. And it's fitting he ends the game with the basketball in his hands as his new favorite friends, as Don Staley would say, they're not booing him. They're just calling him boo. He had the game in his hands for 40 minutes, man. He was incredible with 35. That's all from Tallahassee.